Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope that everyone is having a really good day wherever you are. Um, today I am filming another video of course, otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching this. <laughs> um, but today I am filming, I don't know, we're just going to play around with makeup. I kind of want to do something like a sunset eye, so like pinks and oranges and yellows and purples and stuff like that. I have been seeing so much of it on Instagram lately and I really want to take on my own spin of it. Every intro I do is really long so I don't want to make this one really long so why don't we just start now I guess. <laughs> okay I'm back. I did my eyebrows and primed my eyes off camera because that stuff is boring. Um, so I'm gonna go in and get some palettes. I'm mostly using two palettes today maybe three depending if I can get the right colors out of these ones but mostly the first palette that I'm going to be using is the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette just because it's got a bright yellow and then some pinks down the bottom and then the second palette that I'll mostly be using as well is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette just because it's got some pinks and purples in there um, that I think will go really nicely with the um, sunset all right, so I'm going to go in with that yellow, and it's called Quench. So I'm just going to go in with a Morphe M441 and just put this really messily through the crease and really high up to the brow bone because there's a lot of colors that we got to get in my eye. <laughs> and I don't have very, like, much lid space, so I am going to try and bring this up really high um, so there's only, like, a little bit on the top of my eyebrow. Of, like, what? Yeah. You get what I mean. <laughs> I got a new water bottle for Christmas, so no more spilling water because it goes through a straw and has to go into my mouth, so. I just made sure that everything is fully blended and seamless and um, most of the color payoff is even, um, just so it has a nice base to go on the top of. Um, also, if you guys can see how shit my eyebrows are at the moment, I apologize. The lady that does my eyebrows, well, she's done them once, but I'm going to go back to her. And she said, wait until your eyebrows are fully grown out and then I'll like reshape them and everything because she kind of stuffed them up last time. So I'm trying to grow them out just so she can like reshape them. But I'm going to go on with the next shade and I'm actually going to dip into the Sephora Pro Palette um, from my last video. Um, and I'm going to use Cantaloupe, which is like that orange, that third one along, um, just to kind of make like a bit of an orange in there before I start going in with like pinks and everything. So I'm just blending this in with a Morphe M513. I'm like loving this on my eyes right now. I could wear this like daily if I wanted to. <laughs> Alright, back in with the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette and I'm going in with Taste Buds, which is that lighter pink there. And I'm just going to go in with the same brush and pretty much do the same but just a bit lower than I did with the orange. I don't really need to pack this on my brush though. Those colors are pretty similar. Okay, I didn't really do much with that color, but I'm going to go on with the next shade along, which is Bitch. Bitch! Um, and I'm pretty much going to do the same with that shade too. So, I freaking love this color on its own. Like, just like blend it out through the crease. Like I do that some days when I'm just like, oh, I don't know what I want, but I want to like wear something colorful. I'll do that and it literally looks so freaking stunning. It's like such like a hot, like vibrant pink, but like not like... It's like more of a peachy pink rather than like a ready pink. So nice. I'm gonna make sure I keep on going back in with the original blending. Oh, I do that every single fucking time. I'm gonna make sure that I keep on going back in with the yellow blending brush and just going over those colors just to make sure that the yellow still peeks through and that everything like blends into that yellow because that's what the main, like I want it to be like grayed in. So. Just making sure that everything is blended really, really seamlessly. I like that. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the crease um, just with any normal concealer. This is boring. I'll just skip this. So, <laughs> so sick of that guy. So, I live like across from a park and there's people that come and mow. And of course, on the day that I fucking want to film, they're going to fucking mow. I thought it was all good and easy and they went away. But no, they came back and now they're doing like around little posts. Like they're we were swimming around little posts. And of course, it's right as I sit down to film. So, thank you to the fucking council for ruining my video. So, um, yeah, I'm not too happy right now. But anyway, I went and cut my crease just with um, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I've really been liking this. Um, I used it to prime my eyelids. I've been using it underneath my eyelids. I really like this. Um, and I also went and set it with the Thirsty Palette um, with 
parched which is like this like bone color so i've just set the crease um not set the crease set the cut crease and now i'm going to go in with the purple on the outer corner um to make it more like a sunset for the purple i'm going in with the jeffree star blood sugar palette and i'm using root canal which is the dark purple on the end I would take this really, really slow. Just take your time, blend it out, pack a little bit, blend, pack a little bit, blend. Like, it's gonna look shit at the start until you put lashes on, so don't stress. You are so rude! I'm just gonna keep on blending while they do that. Except for these almost fucking done, eh? Now I'm gonna go back in with another blending brush that I used earlier with the pink, and I'm gonna make sure that those two shades kind of mix together. And always go back in with that blending brush at the start, just to make sure everything blends together. All right, I think I'm done. I think I wanna move on to the face. Oh no, I gotta do my eyelashes, but I'm gonna go do my eyelashes off camera, and then I'm going to come back and do the face. I am back. I applied some mascara, which was the Roller Lash by Benefit, and then I put some lashes on, which are the Baby Doll by Lorem Lashes. I've been wearing these ones a lot lately, and they have really become one of my favorite style of lashes. I think that they're so, like, nice and wispy, but, like, not too big. Like, they look different on camera to what they do in real life, but still. Um, yeah, I'm going to move on to the face makeup, so I'm going to go and prime slash moisturize slash, I don't know what, just put some gonna put on some max strobe cream I really like this last time I used it but I want to try it out with some different foundations because as you guys know in that full face first impressions that I did um, either the sponge didn't work for me or something didn't work for me but I've been using that foundation um, the Milani um, the Milani one, I don't know what it's called, but I've been using that one a lot lately and I've actually really really been liking it. I put a lot on my hand. Hmm, and I can't get it back in the jar. Shit. There's a lot. Wow. Wow, did you? I wasn't thinking. I was talking and I wasn't concentrating on what I was doing. Um, and also, I'm really sorry if the lighting has changed. Um, it just started raining outside. So, you know, today is really not a good day for me and filming. Um, I've had mowers. I've had whippersnippers. I've had the washing machine. I've had the dryer go off. And now it's raining. Well, it's not raining anymore, I don't think, but it's still like raining. <laughs> and like gloomy. I saw some like dark clouds come over. I was like, oh, okay, oh, cool. Cool beans. I'm actually going in with a new foundation today. Well, not a new foundation like on the market, but a new foundation for me. It is the Hourglass, the stick foundation. I don't actually know what this is called, but. Um, yeah, I'm going to try out this. So, I got it in sand. Um, it's that one. I'm, you know, I think it was last year. Maybe the year before that this was, like, the biggest craze. And I remember it was, like, super full coverage. So, I got my hands on it because I just, like, wanted to. I don't know how much to apply. So, I'm just, you know, putting that much on. Maybe a little bit more. I still feel like you guys need to, like, come in a little bit. Is that better? I feel like I need more. It's pretty full coverage. I do like that about it. It's like kind of my color. It's my color on my like chest, not my like neck. I felt I I don't have like any fake tan. Well, I put some on on the weekend um, and it's now. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know when I put some on. I think it was for New Year's. Because it's like Thursday today. Was it Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday today. Um, I put some on for New Year's, but it was only like one light coat. And I was swimming all day, so I don't think like it really stayed on. So this is like kind of my natural tan. Today is just not my day, is it? Don't know what it is. Why does this have to happen to me? I like this foundation. Like, it's not my favorite, but like, it's definitely like nice um it's nice and full coverage um it's pretty good shade match to me um yeah it's a little bit like cakey but i don't really care i probably wear this like going out clubbing so 
and I always wear fucking cake makeup to that. So yeah, I'm going to go in with concealer now. I'm going to go with a NARS Complete Concealer. You know, you know what it's called, the little pot concealer by NARS. And I'm just going to go straight in to the thing with my beauty blender and underneath my eyes. I've really been liking how this like looks underneath my eyes. Like it's very full coverage and very like matte, but it covers everything that I want it to cover and I really, really like that about a concealer. I lighting the center of my face as well. I feel like that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go in and bake with the Cody S1 powder. I've really been liking this lately. Like I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. Um but yeah, I think it's it's really really good. It like sets my under eyes like really really well. Why is my home phone ringing? What is it with today? Honestly. I don't understand. Okay, so I think I need to set my face a little bit um just because this foundation is quite tacky. I feel like it just like slide off. So I'm going to go on with the Max Select Sheer Press Powder. Um just want a big powder brush and set my face. Don't know why I'm holding my brush like this. It was just how I picked it up. I'm just going to go back to being normal now. I don't know why, but I've been baking a lot lately. And I think it's just because it, like, keeps my concealer in place. Like, I found that when I would just set it with, like, a translucent powder, um, it could just, like, it would just crease straight away. And I'm so sick of my under eyes creasing because I have little fine lines under there. And it just doesn't, like, make my makeup look as good as what it could. So, I'm... I'm going to wipe away that bake with the um, Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This is so dirty. Just with the banana shade. That's one of my eye. And just bring it like down my face as well. That Cody S1 powder like smells so much like roses though. It's cray cray, honestly. Alright, now that I've wiped away the bake, my eyes are looking weird as fuck with nothing underneath. Like... Look how weird that looks. Does that look weird to you guys? Or is it just me? I think it's just everything. Um, so I want to go in with stuff under the lash line. Good explanation, Julia. Do -do. Do -do. Going in with that big fluffy brush again that we used the yellow on. I'm going to go in with the yellow. And I'm going to go really like messily underneath there. And quite far down too. I feel like I've been loving like going really far down with my eyeshadow lately. I'm not going to zoom you guys in again because I cannot be bothered. I'm feeling very, very lazy. And kind of connect it out to the end a little bit. But I still want to keep that, like, sharpish line out there. Now I'm going in with that Zoeva brush that we used the pink on. And I'm going back in with that big shade. And I'm just going to go a little bit closer to the lash line now. And connect this up to the outer corner too. I like this eyeshadow is really, really complementing my brown eyes. I don't know why. I think it's the pinks. And I think it's the yellow. I just, I don't know. I really, really like how this makes my eyes look very, very brown. And I'm really, really digging it. I usually hate my poo brown eyes. But today, I'm actually liking it. Now I'm going to go on with the teeny, teeny brush. The Morphe M562. And go on with Root Canal, which is that purple again. And put that really close to the lash line again so each time I'm just getting closer and closer and closer oh, I love this brush so much fun underneath the eyes I think it's such a good brush oh I'm loving this I'm so proud of myself this actually it looks like half decent I really want to go on with some nude eyeliner in the waterline just to brighten up my eyes just a little bit more because that black I put black in my like tight line to try and like make my lashes like merge together um and it always transfers so I need a new one of those so if anyone has any good recommendations please hit me up because I'm so sick of it going into my waterline I'm so sick of going it into my I'm so sick of going it into I don't understand I am so sick of it going into my waterline and making my waterline black when I don't want a smoky look. So I, I still want smoky, but I don't want like black smoky. So I'm going to go and get a nude eyeliner and put that in my waterline. Oh yes, that makes my eyes look so much like wider and awake and beautiful. All right, so I'm looking very, very flat at the moment. So I'm going to go in and contour and bronze. I'm going to contour with Hoola. Haven't used this in ages. I feel like doing quite a glowy um bronzer today just because the eyes are matte 
feel like that would be like really really nice just to bring the glow back into the face instead of on the eyes wow for bronzer i went in with the too faced sweet tea bronzer just because i wanted to go glowy but not too glowy but i kind of still want to nah just highlight i'm not going to put any more bronzer on because always 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 go overboard for blush i'm using milani lumino so i have been obsessed with this blush lately i think it's going to complement the eyes so so well like i just i love this blush i'm not usually a blush person but lately i literally wear this like almost every day and that's so so strange for me so i'm gonna pop this on the apples and just take it a little bit back but i want it mostly to be on the apples of my cheeks and i always pop some on my nose i don't know why i don't think this makes a difference but i can't stop doing it it's an addiction <laughs> all right now i'm gonna go on with highlighter i'm gonna use the mac um oh darling extra dimension skin finish just because i want a really really beaming glow i love how like i've got a glow on the cheeks um and i think that once I put the setting spray in this on, I'm, the look is going to come together. But I'm using this on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighting Brush. I like this brush, but I'm still not, like, bow for this brush. Like, some YouTubers are like, oh my god, this is the best highlighting brush in the world. And it's pretty good, but it could be better. Okay, that is a pretty good highlight today, though. Very happy, very happy with myself. Okay, so a product that I haven't actually used since buying it, and I'm going to try it out today, is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, apparently this is really good. I hope this doesn't ruin my makeup. I'm just going to... Oh, it's a pretty good mist. Like, it's pretty good. Pretty, like, powerful, but not too, like, powerful that it just shoots. Kind of smells and tastes like hairspray a little bit, but, I mean... I used to spray my hair, uh, not spray my hair, I used to spray my face with hairspray to make my makeup last longer. Oops, I know it's really bad for your skin, but I was a dancer, so that was the only thing that could keep my makeup on before setting spray was invented. So I'm going to go put this on my face now. Now for lips, I know I did this in my full face of first impressions, um, or from all my America stuff, but it, I sort of did the similar tones, um, so I'm going to go in with the lip balm that I used, um, the... Mecca Cosmetica, um, Luck Delicious, Luck de, Lip Delicious, got it in the end, Peach Shimmer, um, just because I find that this is so nice for spring and for summer, um, I know most of the world isn't in spring or summer at the moment, but I am in summer, so I want to wear summery makeup, so I'm going to put this on because I think that it really complements the eyes and doesn't take away too much attention from the eyes. Alright, so that is the finished look. I literally love this look so, so much. I'm really proud of myself for what I accomplished. I didn't think it would turn out this good. So I hope you guys can kind of see it. Um, I'm sure you would have when I was like doing, it was like zoomed in and everything. But yeah, I really, really love this look. Um, I hope that I can get some good photos today because I suck at taking photos. Literally suck so much um, at taking selfies and, you know, anything. So... Um, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, I'm so excited for this new year um, to see where this whole thing takes me. Thank you guys for watching and I love you all so much. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Peace.